See if your dogs are still barking. See if my dogs are still barking. Uh, grab an object, look at it, and press Z. Oh, yeah. I like it. All right, Doc. Sitting down. All right. I'm going to say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes Now he sounds mind. louder. Dog. Um. Honestly, you can pick whatever you want here. Because at the end, you're going to be able to just pick whatever you want. Uh, but this is kind of a fun little way to do it. Um, the first thing that I think of when I see dog or hear dog, I think probably cat. Kick, if he's a mean dog, you know? House. Uh, house. Shelter, burglarize, renovate, target, investment, demolish. Probably shelter, I think. Night. Uh, I think of sleep, I think. I, I, why? When he says night, why would you ever think of treasure? What? Why? Bandit. Bandit? Freaking kill. Uh, we've got crush, stab, vaporize, reasonable. Vaporize. Light. Lights. Uh, I would say dark, but... I mean, heavy is a pretty good one, too. Uh, inspiration. Uh, we're gonna go heavy. Mother. Mother, caretaker, jeans, cookie jar, tantrum, tattle, regret. Wow. Human shield, that's even worse. Shame on you if you ever pick that. Rude. Uh, I mean, I would say parent, but that's not, a, that's not an option here. Uh, so I'll just say jeans, I guess. Cause, I mean, not really a caretaker, but... Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. How much they sound? First one. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Conflict just ain't in my nature. Well, for this character... Um... Again, these are all things that we're going to be able to do right at the end here, so... I don't know. I mean, this guy just wants to loot everything. And with loot, you're, there's going to be conflict, so I would probably agree with that. Hipster dog, what's up, man? How's it going? I ain't given to relying on others for support. I ain't given to relying on others for support. <clears throat> uh, I would say maybe disagree here, maybe? I'm always fixing to be the center of attention. Oh, yeah, you know he is. I'm slow to embrace new ideas. Uh, slow to embrace new ideas? Probably agree. Probably. Do, 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 do. Just bought a new CPU cooler and more fans for my rig. Nice, man. Did you uh, get your 1070 yet? Uh, do, not doing anything today? Nope, I did stuff yesterday. <laughs> Uh, I'm doing pretty well. Um, I would probably agree with that. I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Oh, heck yeah. You know, we strongly agree with that. Almost done here. What do you say you have a look at this? Tell me what you see. I see... Broken chain, chemical reaction, a shadow and a door... How do you see a shadow and a door frame in that? An oozing wound. Two, an angry two-headed ant. Yep, we're going with that. Yep, we're doing okay. it. Okay. How about this one? Uh, a ship at sea? I mean, that could be. This could be the ship, and these are the waves. I'm too embarrassed to say what it looks like. No, it's a, it's a space-age technology piece is what we're doing. Last one. Uh, light in the darkness, a bearded man. I don't, I don't see the bearded man in that. A mushroom cloud. Yeah, I see the mushroom cloud. Head on a pillow. Don't don't see that. Don't see that. Well, that's all she wrote. That's all she. Wrote. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have a look at the results. See if it all seems right to you. 
So this is where we're going to be able to pick our skills and pick our, I believe, perks. So according to the way that we answered, uh, energy weapons, explosives, and speech. So I would say speech is probably good. Explosives probably not so good. Um, definitely do lock picking and, huh. I don't think I want to put anything in energy weapons just yet. So probably, well, we can read through all these in a second here. Um, realize when you uh, stream or play games, your stock CPU fan is loud. Oh, you got the 1070s? Nice, man. Uh, da, da, da. Quiet fans. Well, that's awesome, man. Uh, let's see here. Barter. That's to, like, purchase things at a lower cost. Energy weapons, we'll probably put points into that, but later on. Uh, don't care about explosives. Guns. Determines your effectiveness with any weapon that uses conventional ammunition. Uh, medicine. Melee. Nope. Repair. Science skill. Science would be pretty fun. Um... Don't really care about sneaking. Survival. Uh, the hit points you receive from food and drink. It also helps you create consumable items from campfires. That's awesome. Got campfires in this game. Um, I'm thinking either guns or science. I think guns are probably going to be great to help us out, so probably do that. I would love to put it in in science, but I think uh, lock picking and speech are are higher things to to put things in. So we'll go with those three: guns, lock pick, and speech are what we're uh, proficient in. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. Yeah, the perks. We got a form for you to fill out, so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. That's what, that's what I get for getting an AMD CPU, yeah. I, I'm not a fan of, of AMD things. Uh, I had cards of theirs in the past and just... They're, they're not very good. Alright, cool. So we got two traits, or they're also... I guess these are perks, I guess. Or maybe... I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. So let's read through all of these and see which ones we want. Um, built to destroy. The flamer that burns twice as bright burns half as long. All weapons have plus 3% chance to critical critically hit, but equipment condition decays 50% faster. That sounds terrible. Claustrophobia. Uh, you have a fear of enclosed spaces probably because of the mutants that live there. You gain uh, plus one to special attributes when outside, but suffer minus one when indoors. That's kind of good, but that sucks being inside, though. Early bird. Enjoy a plus two to each of your special attributes from 6 a.m. to 12 p.m., but suffer a minus one. Nope, I don't want that. Uh, while using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more quickly but your shots are 20% less accurate. There's always a good side to these, and there's always a bad one that I'm just like, I don't even want this. Or wearing any types of glasses, you have plus one perception. Without, you have, nope, I don't want that. Good nature at heart. More prone to solving problems with your mind than violence. You gain a plus five to barter, medicine, repair, science, and speech. Would have a minus one or minus five to energy weapons, explosive guns, melee. Ah, I don't think I want to do that. That one seems pretty good. Heavy handed, melee and unarmed. Never going to do that. Hoarder. Yes, this is for me right here. You gain 25 pounds to carrying capacity, but suffer a minus one to all attributes anytime your weight carrying drops below. 160. That's kind of... 
for a hoarder myself, that's kind of intriguing to me. Suffer a minus one to all attributes. Anytime the weight you're carrying drops below 160, so it always has to be above 160, which kind of sucks. Uh, hot blooded. When your health drops below 50%, you gain plus 10% more damage, but you also suffer minus two in agility and perception. Kamikaze, you have plus 10 action points, but your reckless nature causes you to have a minus two damage threshold. Logan's loophole. No one's going to put you out to pasture because you're going to stay young and level 30 forever. But never again become addicted to chems and they'll last twice as long. But after 30, you can kiss experience perks and skill points goodbye. Oh, heck no. That sounds absolutely terrible. Except if you're a drug addict, then I mean, by all means, pick it. Frag grenades to throwing spears you can throw 30% faster, but nah. Skilled. You're skilled, but not experienced. You gain plus 5 to every skill, but suffer minus 10% from experience gain from now on. That's not too bad. I might go with skilled. Small frame. Uh, due to your small size. That's probably inaccurate. Uh, you have plus 1 agility, but your limbs are more easily crippled. No... While using guns and energy weapons, you fire 20% more slowly, but are accurate. Wild Wasteland unleashes the most bizarre and silly elements of post-apocalyptic America. America. Not for the faint of heart or the serious of temperate. I kind of want that because I want some... Look, there's an alien. I, I need to see this. I need to see it. You haven't played this in forever? I have never played it, ever. Uh, but I played through all the other games on stream before, so we need to do this. Deadpool, what's up? You need help with Fallout New Vegas? I don't know how much I'm going to be able to help you because I've never played this, so... I don't know. There better not be spoilers. Just saying. Um, Wild Wasteland, that sounds pretty great. So I think I'm going to get Skilled and probably Wild Wasteland. So I'd like to... This is probably a fun one. But honestly, I don't really care about these other ones. Built to Destroy. I don't really care about that. Uh, that's kind of dumb. Shots are 20% less accurate. Um, the hoarder one, I think, would probably bone me in the end, so I probably don't want to do that. Uh, hot blooded. Hot blooded might be kind of cool, but if you go below 50, you lose out on agility and perception, so that's not really good. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to go with skilled and wild wasteland, is what we're going to go with. That's what we're going to go with. So we'll take the we'll take the minus ten percent from experience gain from now on, but you get five uh, points to every skill right now, and then the wild wasteland because why not? Do 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 do. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me. I'll oh, I, you help me? No, I don't. I don't need any help at this time. No, I just started to be honest. <clears throat> Get up. Our character's name is Looty McLoot Loot because I'm going to loot all the things. I'm going to take that too. Uh, probably don't. Let me go talk to him first before I uh, I do all this stuff. Here, these are yours. Was all you had on you when you was brought in. I 18 bottle caps. I'm rich. I know to look. I thought it might help me find a next of kin, but it was just something about a platinum chip. Well, if you're heading back out there, you ought to have this. They call it a Pip-Boy. I grew up in one of them vaults they made before the war. We Ooh. all got one. Ain't much use to be now, but you might want such a thing after what you've been through. I know what it's like having something taken from you. And put this on, too, so the locals don't pick on you for lack of modesty. Never was much my style, anyway. All right. 
Uh, thanks for patching me up, Doc. I don't mention it. It's what I'm here for. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. Alright. But try not to get killed anymore. Yeah, we gotta find out who freaking killed us. Because... In that intro there, somebody killed me. And that guy needs to die as quick as, quickly as possible. Um... Do you have to put a delay on your audio to match your webcam? No. Not at all. Or did you window capture the webcam? Uh, Logitech. No, I, I think it's just a... Uh, I think it's just a video source is all I did. Uh, and that was a long time ago. I haven't messed anything with it since. Uh, hardcore core, hardcore mode. Fallout New Vegas allows you to play in a new hardcore mode that greatly increases the challenge of the game. In this mode, stim packs heal over time and cannot mend broken limbs. Right away removes radiation over time. Uh, ammunition has weight and dehydration. Uh, is a constant concern. This play mode is only recommended for advanced players. Well, I'm not advanced. This is the first time, so we're not going to do it. To turn it on and off at any time. Okay, cool. Uh, but if you activate hardcore mode now and maintain it through the end of the main storyline, you'll receive a special reward. That's kind of intriguing, but I'm not going to do it. That seems like more pain than anything. Wait, come here, Doc. I expect you'll be wanting to go outside after being cooped up for so long, but if you have any questions, I'll answer what I can. Uh, I want to talk to everything about this. Uh, first of all, Doc, tell me about yourself. Well, I already told you I came from a vault. After that, I was a traveling doctor for a spell. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Most folks out here ain't educated, so people with medical know-how are hard to come by. I found that I could help a lot of people with what I knew, and that was all right with me. Eventually, I went back and married my childhood sweetheart, and that was the end of my traveling days. Didn't miss it none then. Still don't. So where is your wife now, Doctor? Uh, you said before you had something taken from you. Maybe you're, maybe that's your wife. Well, ain't we all, right? Huh. That was a long time ago. I don't pay it much mind anymore. He's not gonna tell. Uh, my wounds hurt. Can you give me a little something for the pain? We can give him, yeah, give me stuff. Of course. You've been through a lot. It ain't much, but these will do you right if the pain flares up. Three stim packs. That's it. I will take it. Uh, what town is this? This here's Good Springs, named after the water we got here, just down the road to the southeast. Good Springs southeast. Source, they call it. It's a quiet town, and that's how we like it. We don't go looking for trouble, though occasionally it sees fit to come looking for us. Uh, who was it that rescued me? I think he said Victor was his name. That'd be Victor. Curious fella. He's sort of odd, and I don't just mean because he's a robot. I couldn't tell you much about him. He's real friendly, don't get me wrong. You just get the sense that that ain't the whole picture. Just a feeling. He keeps to himself, mostly. You want to know more about him, you'll have to ask him yourself. He has a shack on the southern edge of town. Cool, we'll talk to a robot. Do you know anything about the man who shot me? Please, for the love of God, say yes. I didn't see him or the men with him. You might ask around town, though. Could be someone saw which way they was headed. Your best bet would probably be Trudy, the bartender at the saloon up the road. If anyone saw the road. anything, she'd know about it. <laughs> uh, okay, well, that's going to be like one of the first things that I do, because I need to kill that man. Well, there's a general store just up the road, run by a fella named Chet. Chet. He don't got nothing fancy, but he's got your basics covered. If you're looking to wet your whistle, just past Chet's is the Prospector Saloon. The bartender there, Trudy, knows everyone in town. Other than that, there's not much to see. Just people trying to scratch out a living. Alright. 
think that's about it, Doc. You take care now. I'm gonna loot all your stuff. Uh, turn that on so we can see. Uh, yep, gonna take all that stuff. Take your rat away and all that. Sorry, Doc, I need this more than you. I don't want any of that stuff. But we're gonna loot all the things, because this is exactly how I play Fallout 3. What is that? How do I zoom in? I thought there was a way to zoom in. Physician today. We're gonna take that. Reading glasses? Sure, why not? Broken submachine gun. Uh, oh, okay, so we have a re we need a repair of 25. Okay, we won't do anything with that. We already looted that. That don't work. All right, this room is like pretty much clear. Take all that stuff. Uh, do 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 do. I thought there was a way to, like, slow... Okay, there it is. Yeah, it's a shift. That way I'm not going so fast, but I'm looking for stuff. Oh, hey, Doc. I'm just, uh, you know, stealing your stuff. Now, pre-war books were something that were in Fallout 3 uh, that we... I don't think we sold them. I think we traded them to somebody, that like a collector. So maybe somebody like that is in this game, but I'm going to take all the pre-war books. All that I can. Why not? Come on, I want that. I want that other book. Okay, there we go. Uh, that's all that. Pre-war... God dang it, I didn't mean to take that book. Crappy book. <clears throat> All right. It's got, oh, bottle caps. Take it all. Probably hear that clickies, but that's all right. Buffalo gourd seed, what the, what? What is that used for? I don't know, I'm taking it. Taking that, taking that. Cigarettes, I mean, value of 40, why not? Sugar bombs, I'll take that. Take all your ammo. There's a reason they put all this stuff here, and it's for me to take. <clears throat> I don't want empty syringes. That's gross. Here. I, I like the chessboard better on the on the bed, actually. This may be a bad thing, just like going around and gra gathering all these pre-war books, but you never know. You never know when you're gonna need them. Or when someone's gonna want them. Oh, there's one there. Carton of cigarettes. Yep, taking them. Uh, what's in your dresser? Pre war casual. Let me loot all that. Doo 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 doo. Hey, radio. How's it going? Don't mind me, I'm just uh, stealing a lot of things from this man's house. I'm gonna put a plunger in his, uh, his toilet. The toilet's plugged up again. I gotta, I gotta loot, I gotta loot. No, I gotta fix it, man. Come on. Whoa. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> I'm not a plumber, actually. Flour, toaster oven, uh, pilot light. I remember those selling pretty well in Fallout 3, so we're going to take those. Uh, we're going to take all the food, because why not? I just took detergent. Didn't mean to. Uh, it's going at work on a holiday. That's, uh, that's not cool. It should be fired. Whoever's in charge of that, I should say. The thievery fraudulent plumber. 100%, that's this. Uh, 
No Deadpool, that's... I am okay with that. Thank you for the offer though, bud. Being that it's my first time uh, playing through this game, I want to kind of explore everything on my own. Uh, but if I do need help, I will ask. Do ah, the lights. These are all the DLCs, um, which they all raise the level cap by five. So if you don't have the DLCs, the level cap is 30. But if you have all the DLCs, it goes all the way up to 50. So that's going to be good with me. Um, but these are all DLCs. We'll have to. We're gonna do them all eventually, um, but not do anything with them right now. Do, 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 do. 